Hey guys, Jared here, keeping you informed daily on Inform Overload. So I know we've done a few stories about asteroids and Earth and scary stuff happening, but this one might be the scariest of all. An asteroid approximately between 36 and 112 feet in diameter flew by Earth the other day, almost twice as close as the moon does. The asteroid is being called 2017 AG13, and it was first discovered on January 7th by the Catalina Sky Survey. Just to give you guys an idea of how serious this asteroid would have been if it did hit Earth, it most likely would have been similar to the meteor that hit Russia back in February. Of 2013. That meteor was estimated at about 66 feet in diameter, so about the size of a cricket pitch. Now, thankfully, it did just pass us. But if it were to hit the Earth, here's what most likely would have gone down. Just like the meteor that hit Russia way back when, this flying object would probably burn in the atmosphere, but there still would be that possibility some of it makes it to Earth. And if it did, the rock would destroy property and injure people. In fact, coming down that fast, the blast would be approximately 30 times as powerful as the atomic bomb dropped at Hiroshima, but only 10 miles high. So us earthlings wouldn't feel too much impact according to popularmechanics.com. And as great as it is that we didn't get obliterated by a giant rock, it's still pretty scary that no one even knew this was a thing until two days before it passed us. I mean, NASA does mainly focus on large objects flying near Earth that could cause catastrophic damage to humans and the Earth in general if it were to hit. That doesn't mean the smaller ones should just be ignored. Just because they won't kill hundreds of thousands of people doesn't mean it won't kill hundreds. And that's a pretty scary thought when you really think about it. But I mean, we're not all scientists, so we kind of just have to trust the process and and hope that one day we don't wake up to find out we're doomed. Again, very unlikely to happen because NASA is on that, but on a bigger scale. So every morning, just look up at the sky. If you see a big black thing that shouldn't be coming your way, then you should definitely look at it and say, you guys ready for some cringe? It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, maybe it's a huge asteroid that's going to kill the entire Earth and NASA missed it and now we're all doomed. But again, it's unlikely to happen, so don't worry, guys. Even tiny little asteroids, well, little compared to what would be catastrophic, as mentioned before, shouldn't hit us anytime soon. Now, as always, you guys gotta drop me a comment down below with what you hope to achieve with your life before this asteroid kills everything and everyone you know. Again, I'm just kidding. That's gonna happen, guys. Don't worry. So in the video we did about the 16-year-old who took ecstasy and ended up hospitalized, X Superfangirl1 underscore X, I'm sorry, I messed up your name. You guys can see what it is. Said, this is why you don't do drugs, kids. Don't do it. And I agree, guys. Drugs are bad. Truthfully, alcohol is bad. I don't do either just because I want to get into shape and I'm just happy with my life sober. So, but again, kids will be kids. They'll try things. It's okay, but just be very safe and do your research before you try things. Olivia Watson said there was obviously something in that pill. Shake my head. There probably was. Probably wasn't pure ecstasy, but that still doesn't mean it's okay to do ecstasy. I mean, I know there are people that do ecstasy on the regular and they love it, but like just because they do it doesn't mean you should try to persuade others to do it. Truthfully, don't make it seem like it's as good as water. Like taking ecstasy isn't going to do good for you. It's putting stuff in your body that's not there. And I don't know if that's the best thing. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna get triggered and call me out for saying that, but it's the truth. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. As always, drop me a comment down below. For those of you that do call me out for saying ecstasy is bad, I'm not gonna do my research because, again, it's a drug and you're putting it into your body when it's not originally there. So I appreciate you trying to call me out, but I really don't care what you have to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.